Hello, today I will be opening up a Modern Horizons 2 bundle. So, I've been opening up a lot of Modern Horizons off, off camera, and it's easily the best set of the year. Just so much value, so many good cards. At the rare slot, the mythic slot. And I haven't opened a bundle yet, but I try to open a bundle of almost every set, so. So, oh, I, I like the Squirrels of the Multiverse. I think I have most of these. The Squirrel Sovereign, the Lord, Chatterfang. Uh, what else? And, yeah. A lot of squirrels in this set, but that's not really, they're not really the chase cards, so let's see what we can get. And U3, Fortune's Flame. With a, uh, I like the, yeah, this is a very nice die. It's one of the oversized ones they started in Core 2020. And mostly here, there's, yeah, actually, I don't even, I don't know what to say I want because there's so many good cards. I think what's interesting is about these draft packs is even the draft packs often have double rare, so. Somewhat unique to most sets. Abundant Harvest is a good common. Blossoming Chain and... Oh, Bone Shredder. And a Rise and Shine for the rare with a Foil Break Ties. I think these are pretty cheap right now as well. I picked this one up for under $60, so. On release, they were somewhat overpriced. Oh, there's a squirrel card, Elf Druid. Blazing Root Walla. I think I saw this on Arena. They added it. Monoskeleon, kind of like Triskeleon. Extruder and oh solitude. That's one of the chase mythics. It's a very good pull Let's actually put the rares here and then the mythics over here So pretty good pull so far I think there's a cycle of these with solitude and I think endurance being the most desirable Though they all seem to see a, at least a little bit of play. So, Ooh, bone shards. Actually, put that aside since it's got the retro frame art. Tormod's Crypt Keeper. And let's see. Tireless Provisioner, and another Mythic, Titania Protector of Argoth. I actually got uh, alternate art of this in my set booster box, but the Profane Tutor. So yeah, these packs are just so good. Definitely going to keep an eye out on Black Friday to see if I can get more Modern Horizons too. Because right now, at least in terms of the new sets that are coming out, don't really want to open anything other than Modern Horizons. Area Amoeba. <clears throat> Last top Chancellor. I actually haven't seen this card yet. Zombie Wizard. Scurry Oak. Tree Folk. I also saw this on Arena. Gurion Ranger. It's a good one. And Timeless Dragon with a Master of Death foil. And let's see.
So six packs to go still, and I already feel like I've got a, almost a bundle's worth of cards. But these are a little bit more expensive than the regular bundles. Altar of the Goyf. Flay Essence, Decent Removal. Aether Sworn Sphinx. Soul Snare. And let's see. Oh, nice. Urza Saga. It's uh, probably like a $25 card. It's also very good. This is the regular art of Abundant Harvest, Ornithopter of Paradise. Looks like another foil as well. Brainstone, Brainstone's not a bad uncommon. Feast of Sanity. Mystic Redaction and oh, a lot of uncommons. Seal of Removal and Suspend. Oh, no foil. So I guess, yeah, it's not guaranteed, like, three uncommons. These packs are unique compared to other sets. And, let's see. Squirrel Sanctuary, it's a good uncommon for squirrels. Clattering Augur. Vectus Gloves, and Squirrel Mob from Odyssey. It's a good rare with the Zabaz, the Glimmer Wisp. Wormod's Crypt Keeper, Abiding Grace. Let's see. Underworld Hermit, Mog Salvage, and Archon of Cruelty. It's one of, like a reanimator target. It's pretty good. So, three mythics so far with two packs to go. No fetch lands though yet, but Urza Saga is basically a fetch land. At least in terms of value. Another bone shards. Chatter storm. Oh, a lot of retro frames here. And Nevenerals disc with a Brea's apprentice and a sweep the skies foil. Galvanic Relay. Verdant Command with a Foil Drake Keeper. So, pretty happy with the bundle, especially since I was able to get it fairly cheaply, and it's pretty hard to go wrong with Modern Horizons too, when there's just so many good rares and mythics. Of course, the best pools probably being the Solitude and the Urza Saga. Profane Tutor might also go up in time. Alright, thanks for watching, and until next time.